Hello everybody. Um, it's the end of day five and I'm just sitting on the couch and I just had some issues come up today that I wanted to talk a little bit about. Um, I was at the expo today and somebody just started kind of going off about uh, McDonald's and Taco Bell and Burger King and all these evil corporations that are out to get us selling these evil foods to make you sick and fat and all these things. And I really started to think about it, and I've talked about this before, and I really just wanted to share that McDonald's <laughs> is not an evil corporation. Um, it's giving people what they want. Uh, McDonald's is supplying a product. They're providing goods and services of things that people are asking for. Um, one point that I wanted to make is that every time you spend that little rectangular bill called a dollar bill, you're essentially voting for what you want. You know, forget going to the ballots and to the polls and voting for a president and voting for, you know, political parties that are supposedly going to change the world and make it good. What you need to be thinking about is every time you spend a dollar, you're voting on what you want. By spending those dollars in certain places, you're saying, this is what I want. So McDonald's is providing what people want. Taco Bell is providing what people want. Walmart is providing what people want. Um, and it really comes down to our conscious decisions. If a person decides, you know, I want to be vegetarian because so many um, of our resources are being wasted on feeding animals. We're cutting down rainforests to make room for cattle. Um, we're wasting, you know, it takes, you know, a hundred gallons of water, or whatever it is, to provide a couple of hamburgers and tons and tons and tons of food to feed one cow to make a very small amount of actual burger for somebody. So someone might change their mind and say, I want to be vegetarian. And then more and more people become vegetarian. And then all of a sudden, McDonald's will see people are becoming vegetarian and provide a vegetarian option. They'll say, oh, let's make a veggie burger. All of a sudden, they start selling a veggie burger. And people might go into McDonald's all of a sudden that are vegetarian and be like, oh, wow, hey, a vegetarian burger. And it still may not be healthy, but it's a step up. And so what I'm getting at is the more and more people that will vote for the vegetarian options, all of a sudden Taco Bell has vegetarian seven-layer burritos. Uh, McDonald's has a vegetarian option here. All of a sudden they have salads. All of a sudden they're kind of changing their menu a little bit. And people will start to buy that stuff. If they do start to buy that stuff, then they'll provide more and more of it. And where I'm going with this is eventually... If we get enough people to eat raw food and to become conscious that it's the plant foods that really make us healthy, all of a sudden, what if McDonald's decided to make it easy and simple and fast to pull up to a McDonald's drive through and get a raw food burger? Imagine being able to drive down the street because ultimately food should be fast. Fast food is the key. That's why I like abundance because it's in a bag, it's packaged, it's still living food, it's easy to carry, and it's fast. You can just snack on it. As you're driving down the street, the way it should be, you're walking down the street, you should be able to go pick an apple off of a tree and eat it. You should be able to pick an orange and peel it and eat it. You should be able to pick all kinds of different raw foods as you're just walking in nature. Um, but that's not the way that it is. So this is the reason that people go to fast food restaurants because they get hungry. They want something to eat. So it comes down to casting votes and more and more people refusing to buy the garbage that's offered by these places because that's what they're providing to what people have wanted for many years. As we evolve and we start to put our dollars into raw food restaurants really healthy places with vegetarian options and different things, those will become more prevalent. I, I definitely see in my head a future where people will drive down the street, get hungry, and be like, oh, let's hit McDonald's, yay, and it'll be a good thing. 
You'll go to McDonald's. Oh, I'll take a raw burger. You'll go to Taco Bell. Oh, give me two or three raw tacos and a raw burrito. And it's all made out of living food. All of a sudden, we'll be able to have nutrients in life and health and consciousness provided by the supposed evil corporations that are out to get us. So I just wanted to talk a little bit about that. And I know that if there's any entrepreneurs out there, um, if you can take a raw food restaurant and really just make it quick and get everything packaged right and open up a fast food, raw food restaurant, I really think that it'll kick butt. A lot of things are happening in California right now, um, which typically things happen in California and then it goes out to the rest of the world. So I definitely see this happening in the future. I know it will happen, but it would nice. It'd be really nice to see it happen within the next few years. I think it would be absolutely amazing. But I just wanted to share a little bit of that. Um, it all comes down to what are you doing? Um, you know, corporations aren't evil. It's the people out there that are supporting those types of things. So educate the people that are around you and let people know whenever you pay for something, you're, you're casting a vote saying this is what we want. So we need to be voting for the things that are going to make us healthy, the things that are sustainable, um, the things that aren't damaging our planet as a whole. And we can't always do that with everything, but we can make conscious decisions and start to make a really big change. So if you're preaching about very specific things and recycling and doing this stuff, but then you're going off and buying things that are contributing to a lot of waste on the planet, you really should think about where you're spending your dollars and what you're doing. Um, I'm sorry if I ranted on for a long time, but I just wanted to kind of share that. So let's all be really conscious about where we're putting our money. And when we're buying something, you know, let's support the conscious um, corporations, people that want to make a difference for the better of the world. That's where we should be putting our money and things that are going to benefit us. So uh, thanks for tuning in. Have a beautiful night. See you later.